Lives in a really, really nice U-Haul uh, truck that she bought and turned into a gorgeous uh, home that's very distinctive to her. So, uh, Delusional Gypsy, uh, thank you for sharing your time with us here and your life. Oh, thank you. And how long have you been on the uh, road living in your uh, converted U-Haul? Uh, almost three years. Three years, that's quite some time. Yes. And, and uh, you're still young, so you can't be retired yet. So how do you support yourself? <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> well, I'm 69, and I am retired, but I do, I do like to put gas in my truck. So I, uh, I sell jewelry, and I sell rocks, and anything else that I come across at flea markets. I do little flea markets or... Uh, um, we have one in Columbus, New Mexico. Once a month, we have a little flea market, so I get some things together and sell it there. Or if they have events in the park in Columbus, then I go down there and sell my wares. I sell jewelry, and I'm starting to sell Damsel in Defense, which is women's uh, self-defense products. Uh, stun guns, pepper spray, uh, the, there's a uh, it's like a brass knuckles, only you hold it in your hand, and it's a close contact uh, tool. So. And so how people, can people get hold of you if they're interested in those things? Well, I do have a Facebook page. It's just Marsha Sutter on Facebook. And I will have my dams, I mean my uh, Delusional Gypsy page up and running here pretty soon. And, and I've got Delusional Gypsy is my little name and I have a uh, website coming. Okay, so. good. So they can reach you and if yes. they're interested in any of those things. Yes, yes. And uh, you've been in this U-Haul for the three years mm -hmm. and uh, briefly tell us the story of how you found the U-Haul. Oh, I was at a friend's house and uh, he had a neighbor that had this truck and he looked over there one day, we we're out talking and he said, uh, I think you need that. And I said, you know, I'd really like to have that. So he said, well, you know, that fellow owes me $3,600. I'll just take $1,500 off of what he owes me and you can pay me. So I did the fellow's yard for $200 a month and gave it to the next, <laughs> to the, the guy that I bought the truck from and paid the truck off in nothing flat. So right. that's how I got the truck. Yeah, and, and very inexpensively. Oh, yeah, $1,500. Like I said, you can't buy a pickup truck for $1,500 anymore, not a 96. No. So and uh, he had bought it, and what he had the neighbor used it for? Oh, he used it for hauling hay. Just it was just an empty box, and he used it for hauling hay for his horses. He put about seven or eight hundred dollars in work in the engine, and drove it about a thousand miles and just parked it. So, so you knew it was in good shape oh, and yeah. well maintained, and, yeah. and so it was just an empty box when you got it. Correct. Yes. And you turned it I into... I turned it into my little abode. Yeah. Yeah. A wonderful tiny home yeah. on wheels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and so, uh, well, why don't we show people around while okay. we're in here with some of the things right. you've done and what you've okay. accomplished with it. We're in the living room. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. <laughs> and now we're in the bedroom. We're, we're, we're getting, not getting much exercise. And now we're in the movie room. <laughs> right, right, right. I generally, if I'm if I'm on long trips, I usually have a TV and a and a uh, DVD player. Mm -hmm. um, I have a microwave and refrigerator when I'm hooked up to electricity. Do you have um, solar? I don't, but no I'm solar. going to. Want solar? Yes. Yes. I'm going to put um, a basement. Underneath the truck. Right. So I can put my batteries down there. I don't want anything, I don't want to take up any more room in here. I've got enough stuff in here. So right. I'm going to have somebody make, the guy that made my little screen door, I'm going to have him make boxes for under there. And I'll just put the solar on the roof and the batteries underneath. And I think I'll be good to go. I've been talking to right. a lot of people here at RTR about the, about the solar. And right. I think it's, I think that's the way to go. It is the way to go. Yeah. Free power the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't yeah. pass that up. Oh, I know. And I live in, in Columbus, New Mexico, where sun shines all the time. Plenty so of sun Free, there. free stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Free, yeah. Is, free is good. Yeah. A lot of the stuff I got free in my truck uh, or very, very reasonable. I've, I've had these drawers for years and they're, all my clothes are in the drawers. 
and the they're just their pads are just on there. This was a like one of those bathroom things, you know. Mm -hmm. I see. And yeah, uh, behind the toilet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I took the legs off, and I just put them all together. Just a and brilliant it, idea. And it. And that know, was I mean, a, it keeps that, everything in there. That looks like it was a uh, cabinet in the kitchen. Yeah, I think it was. That's I'm what sure it, looks it was. Like to me. Yeah. And then I have my little shower here. This is my uh, shower curtain holder. I haven't put anything up there yet, but I have um, just gravity feed. Oh, that's right. You so, were telling me about that. So, yeah. so where is your uh, water tank? I have a propane one, a camper propane. Oh, that your hot sits water. on yeah for hot. This is my water there, tank. There's your water tank. Yeah, this is 25 gallons. Are here. were you concerned about the weight up so high? Well, um, that would, not uh, no? not really. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it do, the truck is really stable. There's no right. There's no soft shocks or anything back here. This is made for hauling heavy things. Right. So, and it doesn't slosh enough to to make the truck do this. I no. hardly do that in the wind anyway. Right. So yeah, it works out really well. And I just had to, I just had to kind of do a jigsaw puzzle for the in, intake and the out on the, on the end of the tank right up there, but it works really well. And so and you've just, eliminated uh, a, a pump. You just gravity yes. feed. Yes. Right. But what I do to take a shower, I fill up that tub and then I use my little, uh, butane hot water heater and my kitties use it now but um, I use the little hot it's a little hot water heater and it sucks the water up into the tank and right. then so, um, a shower. I had a wood stove oh yeah and uh, it was right here and I had a little two inch chimney that went up through there but it wouldn't stay lit all night when it was cold because and it would run out of wood well, no, it just burned out, and it was a, it was more for a tent than it was for in here. So it wasn't it was really keeping you warm. Right. Right. So I got this, uh, this catalytic heater, which is much better, and it has a thermostat, so it cycles on and cycles off. But... <laughs> When we when I took out the stove, I had a little hole up there with mm -hmm. the where the chimney went. So uh, for this fellow that made my screen, he cut the hole out, and I got that little skylight right. at the thrift store. It's a lid on from a, a casserole dish. Huh. <laughs> it doesn't open or anything, but boy, it sure lets some nice light in. Yes, Look at that does. light there, yeah, like very, an angel wing or something. Very pleasant. <laughs> it works really good. Yeah. And, and then I have my little storage back here where my porta potty is. Mm -hmm. And um, and if you, you, you doing, Lulu? And so this wasn't hard out. build at all because most of it is uh, furniture that you brought out and just set set in. The hardest part was insulating. Right. Because this, the walls on here, the uh, the box itself, they're they're about uh, three quarters of an inch thick. Right. But they have uh, fiberglass on each side, and it's very dense uh, plywood. So it's really hard to cut through or nail into or screw into. Mm -hmm. So I had cutting the <clears throat> cutting the windows out. Oh my goodness! All through, yeah. Oh, it was just terrible. So of course it didn't come with windows. You <laughs> no, put, you no, installed I those. had to put the windows in. Everywhere I went, I said I need two windows and a door. Everywhere I went, I told everybody, because I figure the more people that you tell, somebody's going to come up with it. I went to my brother's house in uh, Northern California, <clears throat> excuse me, and he said, I said, I need two windows and a door. And he said, well, I know where there's two windows we can steal. <laughs> <laughs> and his mother-in-law had replaced all the windows in her house, and she was going to get rid of these windows, and they were just up against the tree out there, like 15 windows. And they were insulated and everything. We didn't cover it, but you sleep up over the cab. Yes. Right. Yes. And there's no storage under there because that's where yeah, the cab the is. The cab. You know. Yeah. Uh, but like this stuff here. That was that's really it's, nice. It's uh, it's styrofoam. Oh. And it's made to look like the tin 
the tin roof in you know in the old in antique buildings. And you have and, uh, here a medicine cabinet, which is just yeah, it's making uh, better actually use of it's a, uh, beads. My I do my put my right. beads in here. So. Mm -hmm. I plug this into that. I made it go through the wall. So if you're and, where uh, there, you can plug in. Yes, but I just plug this in only if I need it. If I have my TV hooked up or uh, and my DVD player. Uh, then I can, I've got a hundred and, like a hundred and fifty foot of cord that I can right. hook up. If I go to somebody's house, I, I always hook up. Well, I got these logs for free. And I framed in the back of the truck and then put these little logs on here. It's all well insulated. I had to buy the door because I had to have it special made. And a friend of mine says custom made is custom money. And my brother made the steps, fabricated the steps for me, and then uh, that friend that said custom made, custom money made this nice expensive screen door for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> my nephew made the box and I got this generator. Somebody was going to throw it in the dump. My brother redid the carburetor on it for me. And I've only had that, Kate, that cover on there for a year in New Mexico, so you can see how the yes. weather disasterizes everything. Yes, it does. The sun is uh, brutal. Oh, oh, it is. It's really bad. Really, really, really bad. But a friend of mine, Paul, put the new um, uh, tail lights on there. Mm -hmm. And this way, when I have the trailer on, you can see, and I can utilize my whole bumper. Right. Well, it's a that's, great home, though, and for fifteen hundred dollars, wow! I probably Stunning. put I probably put about uh, about twelve hundred dollars into it, including all the work I had done on the engine that I didn't have to do. Right. But which is really nothing for, and it it's nothing, yeah. and it's it's better than a motorhome as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't have the maintenance factor and the right. you know the. I just, I really haven't had that much trouble with it, you know. It's been a great little house. Yeah, and sure, <laughs> you own it outright. That's right. You can go take it anywhere you want. That's right. You got a neighbor who's too noisy, you fire, turn the key, and you drive away. <laughs> yeah, somebody said, uh, I said, I'm going to get another dog. I need a, need a company for my, for Sadie. Well, what are you going to do that for? Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't have a landlord to ask? I don't ask. have to ask my landlord. <laughs> no. You're the landlord. That's right. Just ask yourself. Right. Is this what I want? Yep. That's right. Yeah. That's works right. well. Yep. It's great. It is. <laughs> well, Delusional Gypsy, thank you so much for sharing your oh, home. Thank it's you. really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. It's You've great done a great day. job. You're an inspiration. Oh, well, thanks. I don't know about that part. <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, Folks, I, I hope you've got some uh, really good ideas. If you've got $1,500 and uh, some things at home you can bring in and some hard work and some paint and a little uh, sweat off your brow you can have a great home get a few rattle cans a few rattle cans <laughs> and, uh, and away you go yeah. so thanks for watching i hope you got something out of us if you did uh, like us on youtube subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you later